Joaquina Gil knew something was wrong when her first child, Brenda, was a baby. She just didn't know what, and neither did any of the doctors she took her to. One even said Brenda's problem was that she needed to get more sunshine and eat plenty of cheese and cream. Her next two children were healthy, so it was not until Joaquina's first son was born with similar symptoms, including a barrel chest and trouble walking, that she found out that her children were suffering from a rare hereditary disease. She had another son who was also born with it. Brenda, who is now 32, Alfredo, who is 18, and Joaquin, who is 14, all have Morchio syndrome, a disease caused by a missing enzyme that makes it impossible for their bodies to break down certain nutrients. The full name of the disease is mucopolysaccharidosis type 4, and it's so rare that only 70 out of the nearly 120 million people in Mexico suffer from it. There's no cure. It does not affect the brain, although Joaquin has some mental difficulties, as well as Morquio. But it stunts growth and causes deformities, respiratory problems, and can affect the patient's sight and hearing. And it gradually gets worse. He dejado de hacer todo lo que me gustaba hacer, pero también he adquirido varias habilidades más. Como por ejemplo, ya no dependo, me volví más independiente, también puedo estudiar. De hecho, a mí lo que me causa más de mi síndrome es mucha brisa, porque varias personas se tropiezan por, tal, por voltearme a ver. Joaquina, who is 53 and was widowed a couple of years ago, has to help both her sons bath and dress themselves. She used to work in a shop making tortillas, the Mexican staple food, but had to give up her job to look after her children. They all need oxygen at night, but none is receiving therapy to replace the missing enzyme and slow the spread of the disease. There's only one treatment for Morquio syndrome, and it costs thousands of dollars per person per week for life. And it's not just the cost that's the problem, it's also access to the treatment. The National Health Insurer for Mexico's poorest people doesn't cover Morquio syndrome at all, and patient support groups say that even in those hospitals where the treatment is available, patients can end up waiting for more than two years, and in some cases, that's too late. This is the National Pediatrics Institute in Mexico City, home to some of the country's top genetics experts, like Dr. Esther Lieberman. She says the treatment helps patients live longer and with a better quality of life, especially if they start it young. But at the moment, only three Morquio sufferers in Mexico are receiving the enzyme treatment. En promedio yo diría que un paciente con morquio puede llegar a la adultez en buenas condiciones. Joaquina says her children need specialist care because of complications from the disease, but even that is difficult, let alone getting the enzyme replacement therapy. They rely on money from her two healthy daughters, but she hasn't seen them for 12 years since they moved to the US. Ellas son las que me apoyan con todos los gastos, renta, comida, todo, escuela, todo. Many families feel isolated and lonely, says Iliana Martinez of the support group Proyecto Pide un Deseo or Make a Wish Project. Desafortunadamente, este, pues es una lucha contra el tiempo y pues sí ha, ha habido ya decesos de algunos pacientes que pues estaban en espera del tratamiento y que justamente no se ha dado, ¿no? El proceso de diagnóstico es muy tardado, entonces este, lo que buscamos es dar más información a los médicos, eh, dar conocimiento de las características que tienen estos pacientes para que cada vez el proceso de diagnóstico vaya siendo menor. Eh, hablamos de pacientes que han tardado años en tener un diagnóstico. Brenda had an operation on her legs when she was eight around the time she stopped growing. Both she and Alfredo want to go to university, Brenda to study psychology, Alfredo to be a criminal lawyer. Joaquina knows her children will probably die young. Without them, she says she would have nothing to do. For now, she's taking it one day at a time. 
Jude Weber, Financial Times, Mexico City.